The Terra Luna tax and burn proposal has been approved. This is massive momentum for the whole of Terra Luna Classic, Rap Luna, and just the whole community. So what this is gonna be is effectively a tax and burn every time transactions take place, and this is gonna reduce the overall supply of Terra Luna Classic massively. We're just gonna go into the votes and what they've meant. So on Terra Station, this is where you go if you are a holder of the token and you can vote. And as you can see, out of everyone that's voted, there's been 165 million votes in base of Luna coin and 83% of them are in favor. It only needs to get above 40% as a threshold to actually be an approved proposal. So it looks like it's gonna absolutely smash that. And you can see with it, if we look down the bottom here, it would need a quorum of 40%, pass threshold is actually 50% and a veto is 33.4. And we've gone well past that. So what this means in terms of the proposal and the detail behind that, and burn mechanism is to be implemented on Luna Classic to reduce the total supply. As this means that each buy slash sell transaction, 1.2% of it will be a burn tax. This is a mechanism that should, over time, reduce the supply of Luna Classic back to 10 billion, which is massive as in the moment it's around 6.5 trillion. After that, the mechanism will be disabled and then that total supply cannot be changed this is to be implemented on all transactions to be suggested officially by the Terra team and what it should do is go out on social media so that all exchanges should be doing the same thing with these conditions if they are met and with this in terms of what they're going to provide updates they are also going to publish the burn address so everyone can track that and people aren't going to lose money and they understand where it's going. It's the one that Doquan made public about a couple of weeks ago now. And this is where everyone's been putting all of their money. I'll do an update in a second on where that's going. But if you want to come and vote and you are a Terra holder, you're going to need to come to Terra Station itself. You're going to need to connect your wallet. As you can see here, if you just click on there, you'll connect the wallet. And from there, you should be on the Terra community. You won't be able to go and view the classic vote if you don't have a wallet and you're not connected. It's really self-explanatory and really easy to do. If you wanted to do it, all you're gonna to need to do is make a wallet. So you click connect, download the Terra Station, Google, Google Chrome extension, and from there, you'll be able to do it and you'll just need to swap to the other network. If you have any questions, drop them down below. But now let's go into the update on how much Terra Luna's been burned and where we can see this going in the future. So currently, without this proposal being implemented, there is around just under a billion Luna that's been burned and in terms of UST, which is obviously the stable coin that is interacting with this, there is around, so subject to this, around just under 17 million of them that's been burned. So as you can see, there's a burn address. I wouldn't even follow this one. I'd just get it straight out of the Terra community on Twitter. Don't go anywhere else for it, but these are the stats. But where this could go, if it reduces back to that, is if you're obviously a holder and it's burning all the time, effectively, as long as there's a use case, this should, obviously people are gonna to wanna to stake interact with the, with the Dapster going on on the whole of this community. You should be able to see with it the price appreciation as there's less supply versus how many people in demand for these assets so as you can see there's currently people burning all the time and this is constantly ongoing and you can come and track this update this it hasn't updated in a while and i think that's because there's been a lot of momentum recently so in the last um probably like a couple of hours there's not been a refresh but this will probably update very soon it is a very positive feature for the community but just looking at what the price is doing and where we're at at the moment so looking at the price on the day it's up over 30 percent and it's massive news, massive momentum as people are starting to adopt it and they can see some positive news. And I think at first when people saw this or there was other negative news out there, it didn't get taken very well. But now people are starting to realise how big momentum this could be and it's making people want to hold and buy to obviously start to support this project. And it could be owned by the community and driven by the community itself, which is huge. And in terms of looking at this compared to what's going on with Terra 2.0 or Terra 
Um, it's down 6% on the day. It's down to some of its all-time lows of around that $2 mark, which is obviously a huge contrast in terms of price fluctuations. But another article in terms of Rap Luna that I don't see a lot of people talking about. I published it yesterday, and I don't think it got the same understanding. And I wanted to just obviously get that out there. So if you don't want to understand, or please, if it's not for you, please just leave the video now. But I'm going to post it. I did post it yesterday. Um and i'm just going to leave it as a clip at the end but other than that please like comment subscribe i really appreciate it and i'll see you in the next one see ya how to get your wrapped lunar airdrop in this article we're going to go into all the details upon this and how coinbase holders could be entitled to it and updates on the coinbase news we're also going to look at facts and figures from what's coming out in the whole of the Terra community and what's going on with that and there's a lot of insight and there's a lot of things going on and then we're going to look at protocols being proposed by the community but first of all this source has come from fat man which is a very insightful twister source and everything he's been mentioning has been correct so far and in terms of this he has an insight with terraform labs and he has someone on the inside that's been dropping a lot of different insights which if you follow his twitter account and look into them so far what he said has been correct so Buying the Luna now won't get you the airdrop, but everyone needs to understand that. So neither will holding wrap Luna, as it doesn't entitle you to a redemption of the new Luna token. But for the purposes of clarity, holding wrap Luna on the Ethereum network will enable you to get the Luna 2 airdrop. But you can't do this after the snapshot. So once the snapshot's taking place, you're not entitled to it. So according to Fat Man and his Twitter account, all of the Luna variants, including Rap Luna Classic on Ethereum, will receive Luna 2.0 as an airdrop, but it will be a later date. So that's why people haven't received it yet. And that's going to come once the Terra devs, the which are currently indexed in the chain, will sort all of this out. The airdrop will be based on the snapshot blocks in the original proposal. So that was the 7th of May, which is when the crash happened, and then going on from that. It was going to be the 27th of May, and then it was the 28th of May, is that snapshot framework that's in lots of other videos uh, that you had to be holding the lunar asset to then be eligible for the airdrop. They're the main key ones you want to understand. So holding wrap lunar does not give you entitlement to one to one redemption of Luna. Rather, you can sell wrap lunar on Uniswap to roughly get the same worth in Luna Classic. So that's how they're going to get it to work. And to go in a bit more detail on this tweet, so within his tweet, he has a lot of different coins which will be eligible for the airdrop, such as stuff that's on Anchor as well. But if you want to see the details of his tweet, just go to Twitter and you can see that. And it goes through all of the different protocols. But the interesting part of what we were looking at here is what they're saying about Coinbase. So users who had the original Luna token in the exchanges took their account snapshots and they got the airdrop after 2.0 was launched. However, there seemed to be an issue with Coinbase. And everyone understands this. And according to Fat Man, investors who had the Rap Luna on Ethereum, including those on Coinbase, will be entitled to the coming airdrop. However, it's not a foregone conclusion, but that is up to Coinbase if they're going to pass on the token to the community. So that is a big thing that I think a lot of people wouldn't get annoyed about if they believe it's going to come down to Coinbase and does Coinbase have the best interests at the heart of the community. So, Rap Luna holders on Ethereum will get the airdrop. This includes Coinbase. And this is a direct quote. Obviously, I was saying about him being quite a great source previously and going forward. So, it's up to you if you want to believe in it. But if you go back and look at his others and fact check them, I believe that it's quite a credible source. Obviously, they haven't confirmed dates and when it's going to happen. But obviously, there's a lot of people losing hope on Rap Luna. And this could be a way of redemption and pushing this to Coinbase to make sure that again, they don't screw over the little guy. So I hope you've enjoyed this article.